Hello and welcome back to Sudoku Swami's Pencil and Paper Method. Today we're going to learn the rules of playing the game of Sudoku. The rules are very simple and easy to understand and I'm sure most of you already know them. But let's go over this quickly and get it out of the way. A standard Sudoku puzzle is a 9 by 9 grid with 9 horizontal rows, 9 vertical columns, and 9 3 by 3 subgrids called blocks. When the puzzle is solved, each row, column, and block will contain the digits 1 through 9 with no repeats and no number left out. Here in this diagram, row 3 contains all the numbers 1 through 9 with no repeats and no number left out. And likewise, here in column 5, all the numbers 1 through 9 with no repeats and no number left out. And again, in block 1, all the numbers 1 through 9 with no repeats and no number left out. And here is what a correctly completed and solved puzzle looks like. As you can see, each row, column, and 3x3 three three block contains the digits 1 through 9 with no repeats and no number left out, all working in coordination with each other. And that's really all there is to it. Now there are a few variations you might encounter, and one of them is called diagonal Sudoku, where in addition to the regular solution, the two long nine-cell diagonals need to also contain the digits 1 through 9, but this is not part of the official rules. And then there is something called killer Sudoku, with highlighted groups of cells called cages, further requiring the values of the cells in each cage to add up to an indicated sum total. Now here in this particular version, the cages are marked by those dotted lines. Like for instance, these two cells in column 1 must add up to 9. And over here in column 9, these three cells must add up to 17. I have also seen puzzles with additional grayed out blocks like this, which also need to contain the digits 1 through 9 as well. But again, these are just novelty puzzles and are a deviation from the basic rules. Unless stated otherwise in the instructions, any normal printed puzzle you find will be a standard Sudoku puzzle subject to the normal rules I just described a minute ago. The puzzle creator will present a partially completed grid to give you something to start with. These starting numbers are called givens. They give them to you. And generally speaking, the more givens, the easier the puzzle will be, but this is not always 100% true. In order to be considered valid, a Sudoku puzzle must have only one unique solution. And in order to have one unique solution, there must be at least 17 givens. This fact was recently proven by a mathematician and college professor named Gary McGuire. So thank you, Gary. Many people, because they see a large grid full of numbers, think that a Sudoku puzzle is mathematical in nature. But this is not really true. The puzzles are more about logic than they are about math. You could use nine different flowers or nine different breeds of dogs to fill the cells instead of the numbers 1 through 9, and it would work just the same. But using numbers is obviously easier and makes more sense than using flowers or dogs. Math comes into play here and there, but with Sudoku, logic is king. Stick with me and I'll get you solving difficult puzzles in no time at all. Now, if you are interested to learn how to solve extremely difficult puzzles using complete candidate lists, I strongly urge you to check out my complete course in solving Sudoku puzzles. I have provided a link to the master playlist for this course in the description box below. So be sure to check that out when you have time. But for all you purists out there who prefer to work on Sudoku puzzles without using any of the various types of software that are available, it is my sincere goal to help you learn how to solve any printed puzzle you may find, regardless of difficulty level. And the beauty of it is, you won't need any electronic device except for maybe your brain. Ha ha ha. 
Okay, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next lesson for a brief history of Sudoku puzzles. Until then, be well and be happy.